Hello, this is TJR, and I want to start off by saying no. This video is not a pitch to sell you singing lessons. Although, who knows, perhaps I will do some videos on that someday. Instead, my recent video about the end of the American Idol TV show has brought some thoughts to the forefront of my brain regarding both music and American culture. And I want to share some of them with you and get your feedback. Years ago, I was watching the American Idol TV show, and host uh, Ryan Seacrest was talking to contestant Danny Goki, who was very excited to tell America that he had just bought his first guitar and was going to start learning how to play. And with an extreme amount of casualness, Ryan Seacrest asked if Idol audiences could look forward to seeing him playing guitar in the coming weeks of the competition. And I will never forget the absolute deer caught in the headlights look incredulously and with a look of absolute disbelief, he answered, no. And with that no came an implied, really? You're actually asking me this on national TV? As if you could just buy a guitar and start playing tomorrow and in a matter of weeks be ready to play it on national television and on a music competition TV show, no less. And to be honest, I was as surprised as Mr. Goki was uh, that this fact didn't occur to someone who hosts a national TV show that is supposed to be about music. And that's when it occurred to me that the reason we don't have a show like America's Best Guitarist or America's Next Great Pianist is because most Americans have no music education. We took music education out of our public school ages ago. But in spite of this musical illiteracy, singing shows like American Idol and The Voice thrive because everyone and anyone can sing. Now I know right now there are quite a lot of you who are saying, not me, I can't sing a note. But the simple truth is, is that you can sing. In fact, if you can talk, you can sing. I'm serious. You don't need vocal training or talent. Just open your mouth and do it. Go ahead. Just do it. Right now. I'm going to be quiet while you do. Now, I never said you'd be a great singer or even a good singer but you can sing. Even if it's badly, you can still sing. And even if you only sang badly, you didn't require any training to do so, now did you? Now I want you to try something. I want you to try the same approach to playing a musical instrument that you have never had any instruction for. If you've never played a guitar, never had a lesson of any kind, I want you to pick up a guitar and try to play something. You can also apply this same principle to any other instrument, like the piano. Only, don't actually try to pick it up. Pianos are heavy, and you might hurt yourself. You see, with no instruction at all, you can at least sing badly, but you can sing nonetheless. But without any instruction on the guitar or the piano or any other musical instrument, you really can't play anything. All you can do is make noise. It probably sounds something like this. Now, oftentimes, I would be at a cover gig, and some kid would ask me, is it hard to play guitar? And I would always respond, if it was easy, then everyone would be doing it. I used to teach guitar, and I would tell guitar students that it could take months, and maybe longer, just to be able to play badly. But you can at least be a bad singer with no work at all. Shows like Idol and The Voice are appealing for this reason because we can all relate to them. Because on some level or another, we can all sing. But at the same time, shows like Idol and The Voice have created a culture here in the U.S. where it's all about the singer and musicianship isn't even considered. And I find this to be a very strange and unfair inequity. Now, I want to make it clear that I'm not knocking singers or vocalists. I'm a singer too. 
And if you want to be a really good singer, it takes a lot of hard work to do that. But for many years now, I have watched our culture moon over singers and ignore musicians. I have watched musical performances on TV turn into a vocalist up front with dancers behind them, and the musicians actually playing the music are either way in the background or nowhere to be seen. But then I guess I shouldn't be surprised. We stopped requiring musical education in our public schools ages ago. So we have raised a generation that is basically musically illiterate. This might explain why so much contemporary music is created with samples, loops, and programming, as opposed to being created organically by human beings playing real musical instruments. And I want to state that I am not against audio samples, loops, and programming. They are all great tools, but I think we lose something when we use nothing else because we lack the know-how to use real instruments and real human beings. In our public schools, sports is required, so we have all played sports. So we all can appreciate and relate to what pro athletes do because we have all done it on some level or another. So while most Americans can appreciate what it takes to play basketball at the level of, say, Kobe Bryant, our lack of music education means that most Americans have no way to appreciate what it takes to, to play guitar at the level of, say, Eddie Van Halen or Stevie Ray Vaughan, or to play piano like Elton John or Vladimir Horowitz. Some years back, I was playing one of the thousands of cover gigs that I have played in order to pay the bills. Uh, this was a, an outdoor mall food court gig. And at these gigs, I'm ambience. I realize that nobody is really there for me. They're not there for a concert. They're there to shop. They're there to eat. I am just background music. And that's fine because it's a paycheck. So I'm doing this gig and people are going about their business, not paying a whole lot of attention to what I'm doing. And at a restaurant across the way, there is one guy who is applauding at the end of each song I play, and he's applauding very loudly. And I do appreciate that. During a break, he comes up to me, and he's outraged. From the moment he speaks, I can recognize that he's not American, that he's European. And he's telling me that he just doesn't understand. Why are all these people ignoring me? He says to me, I think you're a really great blues guitarist. I just don't understand why they're ignoring you. And I say to him, you have to understand, we took music education out of our public schools ages ago. So the majority of these people have no inkling what it takes to play music on a professional level. They have no frame of reference to appreciate it. And then I said to him, I'm willing to bet that you had music education in your upbringing, in your school. And he said, yeah, I had to play flute. I hated it. And I said to him, but that education gave you the ability to appreciate what it takes to play on a professional level. I also gave him the sports analogy that I just gave you. And then I pointed to all the people out there shopping and I said, these people do not have the benefit of the education you grew up with. I really do think that most Americans don't think that playing a musical instrument requires hard work and dedication. I think that most Americans think that playing a musical instrument is something that you're either born with or not born with. In other words, you either have it or you don't. And this is why in America we don't have shows like America's Next Great Guitarist or Next Great Pianist. We have no way to relate to it because most Americans have no musical education whatsoever. Music is something that is done to them as opposed to other cultures where music is something that most everyone has done at some point in their lives. And this is also why most Americans walk around with the mistaken belief that they can't sing, even though they can. So you see, everyone can sing. But remember, not everyone can necessarily play. Food for thought. This is TJR. I want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. And is there a topic you think I should cover, talk about, dissect? Please give me your suggestions. Thanks.